Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. Please click on the bell icon. You will get all the notification of my new videos and let's get started. Today, I'm going to share with you very tasty and delicious Pollock Pakoda. And this is going to be totally different way of making Pollock Pakoda. This is a fresh Pollock. In other words, spinach from my backyard. I'll use mint also from my backyard. First step will be, I'm going to make a smooth gravy of pollock. Basin, which is ground flour. I'll be using Ninja Blender. I'm going to make sure that it just goes inside. So the whole pollock goes inside the blender. Once we place the pollock inside, add a half cup water. Water we're going to use as we need it. Mint leaves which is pudina. After adding the mint leaves, place the cover and we'll start it. I left it on smoothie for 50 seconds, it's all done. And let me show you. This is how it looks. Nice, smooth, watery spinach gravy. As you see, this is nice, smooth spinach gravy. Add ginger, garlic, green chili paste. I have a posted video on my channel how to make nice, smooth paste. So please check it out. Green chili. This is hot green chili. Salt. To taste grinder powder and cumin powder after adding the spices mix it just combine it this is good and now we're going to bring basin mix it well this is what we need Cut the spinach, we're going to add into the mixture. More pollock going into mixture. Some mint leaves. So add these into the mixture. With the help of spoon, mix it. I know you eat Pollock Pakoda in a traditional way where you prepare the basin better than you add Pollock. But try this way, you're going to like it. Now we're going to let the mixer sit on a countertop 5 to 10 minutes and we'll start the fryer to heat up the oil. Keep the temperature at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. The fryer is ready, the oil heated up. And now we're going to make our delicious spinach Pakoda. You can use a spoon or you just drop in like this. So I'll keep adding the same way. With the hand I just dropped in. If you're not comfortable doing that, you always can do this. With the help of spoon, you just put it in like this. So now we're going to wait until it's nicely fried up. As soon as they start cooking, they will start floating. That's the good indication of your pakoda is all ready. As you see, the pakoda is floating. They are nicely done. Start to change the color. This one does not take that long to cook. We're going to give one more minute. So depending on your fryer, depending on your kurai oil, and the bubbling subside, that means it's fully cooked. So as you see, there is a very little bubble. And if I shake it, you hear the current. So once the oil is drained out, I have a plate ready and we put the paper towel so that extra oil can soak in. And now we're going to prepare the second batch. If you are not used to of going with the hand, then you always can use with the spoon. And supposingly if you using a spoon and it's just getting stuck, get a second spoon. With the help of spoon, you just drop it in like this. Keep continuing making the spinach powder the same way as you've seen it right now 
On the second batch, I'll put the cover on and we're going to let it cook. As you see, the bubbles are very minimum and that's a good indication. And as you can see, the pakoras are nicely done. How crispy, crunchy they are. So once the oil is drained, I'll take them out in a paper towel. So this is my third batch. One tip I wanted to share with you, as you've seen, we put spinach into the blender. We make a smooth, nice gravy. So try it both ways. Try with the gravy the way I have shown to you. And let me share with you delicious pollock pakoras. Our very easy and simple pollock pakoda is very tasty and very delicious. Please try it and you're going to like it. If you like this recipe, like always, like, share and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.